The West Country Rivers Trust has been working with the Millbrook community over the last year. Surrounded by beautiful countryside and boasting a range of green spaces, this Cornish village is a stunning place to live with a strong sense of community. We have some fantastic spaces around, you know, like Maker and Mount Edgecombe and or, um, you know, forested areas and part of the Edgecombe estate and all that. And that, I think, makes Millbrook what it is and, you know, makes it a nice place to live. Well, you've got lots of wildlife surrounding you wherever you go, really. Just got such an array of different habitats and I've found so many creatures. I just really like the stream and just you will find treasure in there and if you keep going all the way down to the bottom of the stream it leads to a park. It's just quite nice and we're quite lucky to live around this area because I understand that a lot of people who live in cities and kind of urbanated areas they don't really have a lot of greenery. An enormous number of people not only grew up here and want to stay here, but they're actively in pursuit of and in defence of their village. The lake is iconic, the park around it, in the living memory of most of the older people here, was a rubbish tip. They've seen it go from something entirely unsightly and unhealthy to a genuine jewel at the heart of the village. And they care. Well, compared to the 70s, this is paradise. <laughs> you know, it used to be mud for a lot of the day, um, the key. And then this open um, rubbish thing, you know. There's lots of things happening in this village and it's basically all volunteers. So that bodes well, I think, for a village. It shows that people care. However, Millbrook is not without its environmental issues which we are working with the community to resolve. The village has a long history of flooding. Sat on the edge of the estuary, it is vulnerable to tidal surges and used to be flooded as often as four or five times a year. Following severe flooding in the 70s, a tidal barrage was constructed across the estuary, reducing the risk of tidal flooding and creating the much loved Millbrook Lake. It is thought that the barrage has prevented over 100 tidal floods since then. But not all floods come from the sea. And in 2012, the village was flooded again during two events in November and December. This time, the flood water arrived from the land. It rained for a couple of days, um, and you didn't really think that much of it. But it kept going, and then all of a sudden, you know, the roads were really starting to fill up. Yeah, no, it did affect the village, and it particularly affected that pub, Devon and Cornwall pub. They were really badly hit, and I think there was a few people that were, you know, it was exceptional. This end of the village was badly affected. Once the drains mix, sewerage and you know all sorts of things all get together. So yeah, it was horrible for the poor people. It was clear that two problems lay at the heart of the flooding. Firstly that there was too much water running too quickly off the surrounding land and into the village. And secondly, that there were problems relating to the infrastructure in place within the village. The Environment Agency has already carried out extensive research into why Millbrook flooded and has made improvements to the infrastructure within the village in response. A trash screen has been installed to prevent a build-up of debris from blocking the culverts under the village and a new flood wall has been constructed. There are also plans to increase the size of the culvert on Millpool Head, as large volumes of water flowed down this hill in 2012, when the volume of the current culvert was exceeded. We've been very closely involved with the Environment Agency's work. And there is one issue up behind the hill that's not resolved yet, I know. But by and large, because of the infrastructure work above all, the real risk has dropped dramatically. Good result. Alongside these improvements to infrastructure, we are keen to address the root causes of the catchment's flashy response to rainfall. We need to understand why water moves so quickly through the catchment, so we can try to slow this flow. I'm really interested by the concept of not just attacking the problem, attacking the symptoms, uh, but actually getting behind that and finding out what the problem is that's causing that problem. In 
the Millbrook catchment, the combination of steep slopes and intensive agriculture are likely to explain why rainwater flows so rapidly into the village. We've still got a situation where the drainage from the fields is inadequate and the roads become full of running water. Back in September 2016, over 60 people came to a drop-in session and presentation that we held in Millbrook to give the community the chance to discuss their knowledge of the flooding and how they saw the Millbrook catchment being managed in the future. Simple changes to land use, for example repositioning farm gates, changing ploughing regimes and planting winter crops can help to reduce flood risk. We've also been exploring the potential for natural flood management and sustainable drainage systems, or SUDs, within the Millbrook catchment. Natural flood management schemes are designed to restore, enhance or alter natural processes in our river catchments to reduce the risk of water accumulating in areas where flooding can cause significant damage, such as Millbrook Centre. Similarly, SUDs features transport, slow or store water in a more natural way, usually focusing on urban areas. So the workshop was very much welcomed. Um, this is a terrific document, it's very clear, it's readable, it's uh, surprisingly non-technical and jargon free, I think it's a good, good piece of work. It has helped us to develop a permanent understanding of the importance of the catchment and the flooding in this area and I think on behalf of the community we thank the project for that. Of course the role of our rivers is not just to transport water from source to mouth, the Millbrook River and the Millbrook Lake it feeds are havens for wildlife and much loved recreational areas. As we continue to work with the Millbrook community, we will find ways to add to the amenity value of their watery spaces and help to improve water quality. That way, we can ensure that the environmental issues that are experienced in Millbrook do not overshadow the many wonderful things about living in the village.